Yeah, it's rewind time. Remember in a previous video, I spoke about how the funniest, the weirdest, the most conversational kind of articles and interviews you can go over are the ones done in Russian with Russian athletes, particularly in this case, Russian hockey players, because the questions are usually really weird, the answers are even weirder, and for the most part, yeah, you know, I'm not changing my stance. Last time it was Nikolai Goldolbin, the time before that it was Vitaly Kravtsov, this time right here. We are talking about Vladimir Tarasenko, a St. Louis Blues hockey player, or not even really hockey player anymore, he's just on the LTIR, I guess, because, yeah, shoulder surgery, it sucks. He's a guy who is in the spotlight today because he recently did what is my favorite thing in the world. A Russian interview. It was done with a website over here called sport24.ru, and the article was published earlier yesterday, and if we translate this headline from Russian into English, we can read out what Tarasenko has to say. When you play in a club for eight years, you expect to be made captain. What is he referring to this Vladimir Tarasenko is, you ask? Well, Earlier this week, the St. Louis Blues announced their brand new captain, taken over the reins after Alex Petrangelo left the team in free agency to sign with the Vegas Golden Knights. Lo and behold, their new captain is going to be a man who has been dealt several times from Colorado to Buffalo back over to the central United States. It is Ryan O'Reilly, who had only spent, at this point in time, Two seasons with the St. Louis Blues. He played in 2018-19, getting 77 points in 82 games. Beautiful. And 23 points in 26 games in the playoffs. Beautiful. Moi, chef's kiss over there. He was a very big part as to why the St. Louis Blues even won the Stanley Cup in 2019. A lot of people would be very quick to point that out. He was named the Con Smythe winner, by the way. And then in the most recent season of play, hey, Ryan O'Reilly was out here, 71 games played, 61 points. Beautiful, as always, and over a point per game in the postseason, in the qualifying games, as well as against the Vancouver Canucks. However, he wasn't able to win in that first round series against the Vancouver Canucks, I wonder why. Jordan Binnington comes to mind, but you know, there are definitely other factors there. But after these two seasons, Ryan O'Reilly has officially been named the captain for 2020-2021. And Vladimir Tarasenko, oh man, one of the top goal scorers of the 2010s, the mid-2010s especially, has come out in this Russian interview and talked about that decision. Take a look at this. Tarasenko's agent, Alexei Dementiev, that is a very beautiful last name though, Dementiev, ooh, sounds like something out of Harry Potter. He previously spoke harshly against the Blues management. Those comments can be found here on this article, separately from the previous one we were looking at. This is what Tarasenko's agent, Alexei Dementiev, said about Ryan O'Reilly being named captain. I have nothing against the guy. He's a worthy player who has proven a lot in hockey and in the NHL. I was more surprised, however, by the Blues not appointing Tarasenko as their captain. To be honest, one must understand that before O'Reilly joined the team, few people would have thought the Blues would win the Cup. It's clear that the Cup is a merit of the entire team and the management including, but Vladimir spent eight brilliant seasons on the team, went out to play with injections, with fractures, and other contraindications. He really led the team. In my opinion, in the time spent, not counting the last one missed due to an injury in the playoffs in the NHL, only Ovechkin has scored more in the playoffs than Vladimir. He is one of the most stable players in the league, a veteran and an important part of the team. Everyone knows his leadership qualities on the ice and in life. This decision gives us our understanding of the attitude that the Blues have towards Tarasenko. Now, Tarasenko has indeed had his fair share of greatness with the St. Louis Blues joining the team in 2013-14, getting 21 goals. He followed that up with 37 goals, and then 40 goals, and then 39 goals, and 33 goals, and 33 goals, all while getting 70-60-ish points in most of those years. And then in the most recent season, he got 10 games played, 10 points, which is awesome, but only three goals, which, you know, it doesn't really mean anything, to be honest. He was a point per game still, so that's really good. That's the only number we care about. In the postseason, though, four games played, zero points. Haha, ha, he didn't do anything against Vancouver. That's more because of Vancouver being really good, but yeah. But Tarasenko's agent said all that stuff. And responding to these comments, this is what Tarasenko himself said. 
Of course, when you play for eight years on a hockey team and have been an alternate for a long time, that should say alternate, not assistant, you count on you being the captain. Schwartz and I have played the longest for St. Louis of the guys who are on the team now, but the management made a decision to make Ryan O'Reilly, the guy who has only been here for two years, their captain. I see no reason to discuss it. There were hopes, but how it happened, it happened. I just have to accept it, go out, and play. Oh, man. Oh, so he's going out here saying that, you know, me and Schwartzy, we're the ones that we were expecting to get one of the calls for the C, but nope, it is Ryan O'Reilly instead. This is what he said about the comments that his agent made. I think it's okay to count on certain leadership positions after eight years at the club, but everyone has their own opinion. Alexei Dementiev, my agent, expressed those opinions, and he had every right to do so. This is probably not the time for intrigue. I personally focus on recovering from an injury, we need to start showing our hockey and get better, blah blah blah, because there are many people who say that Tarasenko will never play the same way. Again, I have a huge incentive to come back and prove that these people were wrong. That's cool, you know, that's normal hockey stuff, but... You know, here's the thing about Vladimir Tarasenko coming out and saying that he's somewhat, you know, I'm going to put words in his mouth right here. I'm going to say he's disappointed. Does this not sound like somebody who is disappointed that him or Schwartz, who are the longest tenured players on this team, are not captain? Isn't there a little bit of disappointment here that notes how upset Tarasenko is that the new guy who has only been here for two years is all of a sudden the captain, taking over for Petrangelo, who had been here ever since Tarasenko was here too? To me, these feelings are valid. You're allowed to have these feelings. You're allowed to feel somewhat betrayed in a very minor way that, hey, you've been here. You've been loyal to this team for years. Loyalty, you can debate whether or not loyalty even exists in the NHL, but you've been here for a while and all of a sudden the guy who has been here less than you is now captain. Sure, it's fair to understand why someone would have those strong feelings about it, but at the end of the day, that's not the stuff you leak. That is not what you put out into the media, and that is not what you acknowledge in public as what you're feeling, because that is a direct shot to not only your teammate who was granted the captaincy, who you should be very happy for, I guess. Well, you don't have to be happy for him, but you have to show that you're at least happy for him, because that's courtesy. But it's also a slap in the face to those who are up high at the top for the St. Louis Blues, to have them hear that one of their players is upset about a decision they made as to who they think should be the captain, yeah, that's not going to go over well, just in terms of internal conversations, you know, like how weird would that be? Sure, Tarasenko says, we just have to accept it, we have to go on, we just have to play, that's our job, whatever. But that comment where he acknowledges, yeah, I thought it would have been me or Schwartzy, and in a way where he's by proxy agreeing with what his agent said, where his agent was like, yeah, because Ryan O'Reilly is the captain, you know the attitude the Blues have towards Tarasenko, implying that there isn't really a level of respect that exists there on the same level as a Ryan O'Reilly, even though Tarasenko had been there before. It's long, right? It's weird. It comes up in a very weird and twisted way when you analyze the fact that these comments were made public. Again, Feelings like these, they're natural. You've been an all-star for this NHL team for half a decade. Of course you feel kind of indignant when somebody else who hadn't been here longer than you is given that captaincy. But my gosh, why go out there into the public? And again, this is all just stemming from the fact that it's a Russian interview done here. Like, these Russian interviews, man, they always dig deep and they always come out and pull the weirdest little clips and tidbits of information from these NHL players' minds. Gold Dolbin, the last time, it was about how he doesn't know why the Vancouver Canucks sent him to Utica. Now it's Tarasenko talking about how he's upset that Ryan O'Reilly's the captain and not him or Schwartz. Then it was previously, like, Vitaly Kravtsov talking about how he's maybe gonna get traded to Pittsburgh. Like, why would you ask some of these things, man? It's weird, but... Talk to me in the comments what you think about Vladimir Tarasenko and these comments that he made. Not just about Ryan O'Reilly getting the captaincy, but about the comments he made about his own agent. Because his agent made comments about Tarasenko, talking about the level of respect that the Blues have and the attitude they have towards his client. It's a weird conundrum, I get it, but I want you to tell me in the comments what you think. Was it appropriate for Tarasenko to come out and talk about this? Is it within his right? Obviously it is, because freedom of speech does exist. If it wasn't within his right, he'd probably be arrested by now, but that's not how the world works. But morally speaking, was it right for him to come out and say this publicly? Talk to me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Ash Rolls 99. And bye. <laughs>